Hey, what's going on y'all and welcome back to the channel. So today we got a fun video for y'all today. As you can see, we are in a boxing gym, specifically RSD Boxing in San Diego. Uh, we're doing a female fighter, lady boxer type of shoot today. And today I'm shooting with Ellie. Ellie, say what's up to the people. What's up y'all, I'm Ellie, nice to meet you. So Ellie, is this your uh, first time doing a boxing shoot? This is, I have never done any sort of boxing shoot before, so I'm really excited to dive in. Cool, cool, same here, same here. So I guess it's gonna be a new adventure for both of us. Uh, with all that said, y'all, let's go ahead and dive in. All right, y'all, so real quick while I'm getting set up, let me just take the time to let y'all know what kind of gear I'm working with. So the camera that I'm using today is the Sony a7 III. I've actually owned this camera for the past couple of years and it is my old reliable. It has not failed me yet. Now for lens choices, I went with the Sony Zeiss 55 millimeter f1.8 lens. Now the reason I went with 55 millimeters is because I thought something like an 85, it would have gotten me the nice compression, the nice bokeh, but it would have cut out way too much of the background. And I didn't want to do that because I wanted to set the mood, set the vibe, set the atmosphere and scene. And uh, something like 85, it just would have been too tight. Now on the other end of the spectrum, the 35 or the 24 millimeter focal lengths, they would have been nice and wide and gotten the atmosphere, but I feel like my model Ellie would have gotten lost within the scene. And she's the star of the shoot, star of the show, so I definitely didn't want to do that. So I thought something like the 50 to 55 would have been the perfect sweet spot for, uh, for this type of shoot. Now as you can see here, I'm also using flash, and my flash of choice is the Godox AD200 Pro. Now I gotta be real with y'all, I'm just starting to experiment and dabble with flashes and speed lights and stuff like that. I am much more comfortable with natural light photography. But yeah, I thought I'd bring it along because I thought it would help me try to create a more moody vibe and kind of get some different looks, different feels, and uh, yeah, just allow me to play around with it a little bit. All right, y'all, so now that y'all know what kind of gear I'm using, let's go ahead and dive in into the first spot for the shoot. So the first thing we got are punching bags here, our heavy bags, and gonna try a few uh, mixtures of things. We're gonna try hitting the bag. We're gonna try posing next to the bag. We're gonna try to weave in and out. Uh, just kind of get some different looks, different feels. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see how it goes. Let's go ahead and hop in. So for this scene, I knew I wanted to do a lot of experimenting with the heavy bags. So to start, I positioned Ellie between two of the heavy bags and had her try a few different poses. And Ellie was really good. I really didn't have to direct her that much. Here I'm changing levels to give her that more imposing dominant look, you know, that boxer look. And uh, then we switch it up to some seated positions, me just shooting her head on, her trying a few different poses. And then we moved on to crouching, kind of that midway point, that swag, that, you know, ready look. And uh, yeah, just change the angle, change the lighting a little bit. It. And then we switched it up to really kind of get Ellie hitting the bag and I really wanted to change that angle and get that direct shot of her actually punching the bag. Next up we switched to her leaning against the bag. This is kind of that cool kid lean look and again I'm changing levels here to give her that more imposing dominant figure. Uh, next up we kind of tried this more relaxed look. We brought in the towel to kind of give her that fresh after the workout vibes and uh, tried a few different seated positions from the side angle and uh, yeah just kind of saw what kind of looks we can get. Last up we just kind of reviewed the images to make sure we liked it and uh, what do y'all think? So the second scene, we're in the ring. Uh, we're gonna try a few things in the ring, outside of the ring, uh, just playing around with like different positions and different, uh, different poses on the ropes. And uh, yeah, should be good. We're gonna get a lot of cool stuff here. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. You ready champ? 
So for this scene to start, I had Ellie in the part of the ring against the main wall. And what we did was just have her lean against the ropes and try a few different positions. Here, she's just kind of going head on. Right here, she's kind of got that nice chill kind of swag look just against the ropes here. And what I did is, you know, I did my thing. I changed levels to give that imposing look. I also kind of raised up a little bit to get some head on shots. And then I kind of had Ellie step away from the ring a little bit in order to just kind of get her in the middle. From here, I moved her over to the corner because I really wanted to get the leading lines of the ropes having them lead into Ellie and then I just had her just kind of change her positions change or twist her body and uh, just kind of extend her arm out a little bit in order to get some cool shots now here I had her kind of seated and uh, this is definitely more of a kind of chilled out kind of a swagger type of look uh, just trying a few different poses here getting some different angles and can we just take a second to appreciate the crunch and hold here I mean your boy's abs was burning for these shots but I digress from there I moved her outside of the ring and we again we wanted to to do that kind of just fresh after the workout type of vibe with the towel and uh for this, I changed my position in order to just kind of get some different looks for these shots. You know, sometimes I like to have myself change positions rather than have the model change positions. So we tried that out and I think we got some really good shots that came from this. What do y'all think? All right, y'all, so we got the two main scenes out of the way. Now we're just gonna kind of just experiment around the gym, try some different areas and uh, kind of see what we can get. All right, let's go. All right, y'all, so we played around with three other locations throughout the gym, but unfortunately, I actually lost footage for two of those locations, but not to worry, because I still got the picks. But basically, I used the same techniques, changing levels for myself, changing levels for Ellie, uh, and I even experimented with some RGB lighting at the end just to get a whole different vibe to the shots. Let's see how those turned out. So that's the wrap for the shoot today. Uh, we got a lot of good work in, got a lot of good shots, and uh, I think it was a lot of fun. Ellie, what'd you think? I had a great time. It was definitely challenging, but I'm glad we did it. Cool, cool. Well, yeah, I definitely want to thank you for working with me today. You were really cool, really fun to work with. And uh, go ahead and let the people know where they can find you on social media. Um, you guys can find me on Instagram at Troopy, T-R-O-O-P-E-E. -E. And thanks for having me. Oh yeah, no problem. Well, y'all, we're gonna go ahead and get up out of here, but I think that'll about do it. And until the next one, I will catch y'all later.